What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well, in today's video we're covering Polygon Matic as its price does start to do pretty good today especially after the inflation news that released just a few hours ago. Now if you did not see it inflation data came out better than expected at 8.5% and due to that the market definitely woke up seeing a lot of green throughout just about every single uh, crypto and stock that I'm looking at right now. Now in today's video I'm not necessarily going to be talking more about the specific price action of Matic but more of if after this news should we be buying right now and if we shouldn't be when should we be buying okay and so with that said let's not waste any more time at all and let's get right into today's video so looking at Matic the biggest thing that I've been saying over the last couple videos is that we need to see a dollar get cleared and held above before getting too excited that Matic is going to continue to the top side now I actually stu still do maintain that position right so what we can see is that as we've come up to a dollar we've bounced off of it just about two times now we've been unable to to get past that key psychological level. Now, there's a lot of reason as to why this is happening. First of all, a dollar is again a strong psychological level that a lot of people are going to sell at because they remember the last time that we were at a dollar. Now, a dollar is also a key level of support from previous, you know, moments that we've come down towards this level, especially in the macro sense last September when we were in that September dump of 2021. We've also seen multiple times we've established support on a dollar. Again, it just goes to show that this is a key level that when we're above it, it, we should bounce off of it but when we're below it we're probably going to bounce back down to the downside and continue to struggle to get back above it it's a key pivotal price right now not only that though if we do look at this from a structural technical analysis perspective you can see that this is also um the point of breakout right we came back up towards a dollar and we actually did break this massive trend line that we've been in pretty much this whole bear market right ever since the peak of matic we, we were putting in these, you know, these highs on this trend line, and the fact that we broke this is a fantastic sign, which goes to show that momentum is definitely moving in the direction of the bulls, but of course, the journey of breaking out of this is not easy. You got to break out, hold it, back test it as support, and use that foundation to make that new higher high, and then go, right? But we are winning the battle right now, as we have just recently broke this trend line. Now, not only is there the trend line there, but on the weekly charts as well, if we look at our Bollinger Bands, you can see that we did break the 20 simple moving average as well in which we broke out right here we went up towards a dollar we then reversed came back down back tested support on the 20 sma and are now looking to continue to the top side with the new higher high being confirmed on the weeklies after we break a dollar so clearly everything aligns with the dollar there's so many breakouts we have a dot again a dollar we have that trend line we have the 20 sma there's so many key levels of resistance and so many battles that are happening right now that will be confirmed if we are capable of breaking above a dollar of course in the short term we are still within a little bit of a um we have a little bit of structure here right you can see that we've been kind of riding this key level of support up to the top side. And if you look at the daily Bollinger Bands as well, we've actually been bouncing off the 20 SMA quite well ever since the bottom put in in June. We bounced off there, there, and there, and we're kind of riding it right now. So what you can see is that there's a squeeze happening. We have this key support level, this trend line, and the 20 SMA working to hold up the price while we're being rejected by a dollar. And so what this tells me is that even though we, of course, got good news today from inflation, as mentioned earlier, the price has still not yet broken out of this key level of uh, structure that we've been tracking and until it does so I'm not going to get too excited and I'm not going to move forward with any more buys on Matic because again I think that there is still the risk of us plateauing here and then starting to come back down to find the higher low right don't forget we had this huge cup and handle pattern or Adam and Eve pattern right here right boom and we never came back down on the macro to retest it. So we're always within the bounds to fall, you know, 30% back down towards 61 cents to retest this level and then continue to the top side. That is still a threat, especially when you mix that in with the fact that we are seeing a bit of divergence, especially on the daily RSI right here, in which we are putting in consistent lower highs, right? lower high lower high lower high but we've actually started to trend back upwards here it tells us that there is still a bit of divergence that could very possibly hold us to the downside here but all of these things will be confirmed and kind of negated all the negatives will be negated if we're capable of breaking back above one dollar okay so i know many people are getting excited right now they're like man i really want to buy it inflation is better maybe we're peeking out on inflation and the market's going to start moving and all of that sounds fantastic but until i get personally the confirmation of us getting back above a dollar you never know if this is actually going to you know kind of uh be followed by or actually even succeed to the top side and continue because again we are at that risk of pulling back down to as low as 60 cents 
before eventually continuing this. Remember, Matic moved on its own. Matic got some good news and made a huge push while the rest of the market was still going sideways. So the rest of the market might still be just catching up to Matic and there's no point in rushing buys right here, especially if you can wait just a couple more percentage and get the confirmation of us getting back above a dollar, okay? So overall, my opinion is that although things look fantastic, I definitely wouldn't be rushing too hard into this thing right now. Let it break a dollar, let it hold that level of support, get a daily close above it, and then at that point, I would start to look to take on some long trades, maybe even up towards a dollar and 30, towards a dollar and 40 cents, and I will structure my next video once this breakout does happen of exactly where I think the price is going to go, again, once that breakout is confirmed. So definitely stay tuned. You not want to miss that video. I'm going to tell you exactly where I'm going to be looking to take profits and exactly how I'm going to go about it. So turn on notifications when you do subscribe to the channel, but I will see you all next time. Peace.